Hey everybody, Zen Hiker Joe here. Um, greetings from Texas. I've got my my orange cap with my Lone Star Trail patch on it. Um, anyway, we just had this freeze, and look at my dead. All of my all the if it's brown, it's dead. That's what they say. But um, yeah, I got a lot of dead foliage. Oh, and you can see my my dead palm tree. There's not a green leaf on that thing. All right, let's let's get that out of frame. Don't need that. Don't need to be looking at that. As I alluded to in my last video, I wanted to do a hike consisting of the last 20 miles of the Lone Star Trail. Um, that seems to be a lot of people's favorite part of the trail. So I was thinking I could just do a there and back for my weekend warrior hiking series. Um, and so what I was thinking about doing was uh, getting or just driving to the very last trailhead of the trail and hiking in as much as I could Friday night and then hiking further in as much as I could Saturday until about 4 p.m., at which point I think I'll double back um, and make some distance um, back so that I won't have to hike like 20 miles on Sunday. Um, but it could be another 32 mile hike, we'll see. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see how much it is. Um, it could be 40, it could be 20, it could be eight, who knows? But um, I thought that I would get the map out anyway and, and just kind of like hypothesize what, what could happen ideally. So here we go, here we go to the map. Okay, what you see before you is uh, like the last 20, 30 miles of the east half of the Lone Star Trail. And so I'll just park here at Trailhead 15. And I will head in, you know, a few miles. Um, maybe I can make it to San Jack here and just camp. You know, obviously leave no trace. Um, I would I would camp 200 feet away from the San Jack and 200 feet away from the trail because those are the rules, right? And uh, sorry, that was my phone, not yours. Um, and just kind of, you know, I think maybe I can make it in maybe three miles on Friday night, right? So, you know. Um, so then just keep going, uh, and just, you know, do, you know, I don't know, 15 miles on Saturday and then wherever I get to, let's say I make it all the way to this hiker camp or let's, or, uh, let's say I don't make it all the way to this hiker camp and I have to camp here on the trail. That's fine because it is dispersed camping season. Um, in Sam Houston National Forest right now, and I can plop down anywhere I want and camp. But the idea is to, I'm probably gonna stop at 4 p.m. as I will draw on here using my video conferencing technology tools, 4 p.m. where I will sit down and go to sleep and be happy, right? Okay, so then Sunday, you know, I'll wake up, you know, maybe here and then just hike these miles. So let's say I made it there. So that would be, uh, that would be um, 79, uh, I don't know how many, I'm not gonna do the math. I just, I can't do it right now. So I would get up and just head on back. This is the Big Creek scenic area, by the way. So on the previous day, uh, I would have have to hike out of the big, big Creek scenic area because there's no hunting or camping allowed in that section. So I'd have to make it to, to this area at least. Right. Or I'd have to camp here, but I couldn't camp in this area here because there's no hunting and camping in the big Creek scenic area. Um, that's not indicated on the map. Uh, I just know that cause I, I recognize this bend in the trail. Uh, so then, you know, I'll wake up outside Big Creek Scenic Area and head on back. And, uh, and so this will be Sunday and just head on back, take the trail, as you can see, and then get here in my car and drive home. Just drive on uh, ee, uh, uh, in my, little, in my little hatchback. Does that look like a hatchback? Let me see if I can do an exhaust pipe. Oh, hey, all right. All right, here we go. Art class, everybody. You didn't think you were gonna get an art lesson 
out of this hiking video, did you? This is my gear for the trip. Um, no big changes here. Um, yeah, there's no real changes here at all. And these are the clothes I'll be wearing here. Um, so here is my rain jacket. I don't think it'll rain, but I'm gonna bring one anyway. Um, I am, I'm probably, this is my orange hat with my Lone Star hiking trail patch on it. So there's that. Um, it's dispersed camping season, so I'm probably gonna just wear this cause it'll be warm and I'll be able to sleep in this and my head won't get cold. And you know, I have cold phobia, so there's that. Um, and there are these shorts. There's a little survival bracelet. I might bring that. It's got a little compass on it and a ferro rod and a whistle. I don't think I'm gonna bring my down jacket. I think I'm just gonna bring this fleece. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and bring my gloves because my hands get cold in the, in the morning. Yes, y'all are sensing my cold phobia. Ex officio underwear. Uh, this, these are Odlo. I've talked about these before. Same, same old, same old. Sock liners and um, darn tough socks. And then this is my buff. My other buff caught on fire when I was using it as a pot holder. Um, so th these are, this is my clothes. That's what I'm gonna wear. All right, and then on a third clean, flat surface in my house, I have, the, this is the food I'm gonna eat. And so this isn't real organized, but this is more than enough food for two days. Okay, food, water, and everything. Let's see, how much is there away? Twenty point one. Not bad. All right, I am headed out after work on Friday to Sam Houston National Forest. I'm gonna go to Trailhead 15. Um, I'm gonna get there after dark. I'm just gonna hike in about a mile. I think there's a water source, like maybe about a mile in. I'm headed out now, and the next shot should be of me night hiking. Uh, of me night hiking. All right, let's hit the trail. I just got to the trailhead. It is pitch black. Um. Here we are already, Winter's Bayou. That was a piece of cake. Uh, this bridge, by the way, uh, I think this is one of the bridge that is slated for more repair. Um, as you can see, there's holes. All right, so I found a spot where I can camp. It is pitch black. And this tree right here, uh, when I wake up, I will face this tree and then I will make a 180 degree turn and that should be the direction of the trail. Hopefully I don't get lost first thing in the morning. So I set up camp um, in uh, just whatever, just a little patch of dirt I found off the trail and um, I went ahead you know, and just kind of looked at some markers to just make sure I knew which way the trail was. Um, the first thing I did uh, once I got my tent set up is dive into it because it started to sprinkle a little bit. I thought it was going to start coming down, but it just rained a little bit. There was no rain in the forecast, but it started to rain some. And the next thing I immediately did was I took off some of my clothes <laughs> because it's not, it's totally not cold. Um, 
you know, we had like, we had a freeze a couple weeks ago and now it's back to being red hot and humid here in Texas. So I have too much clothes. That's the number one. I have too much clothes and I probably have too much food, you know? So they say you pack your fears. I'm afraid of being cold and hungry, obviously. Um, uh, I'm not afraid of the dark, I guess. It is creepy. There's some, you know, it's pretty creepy walking down the trail all by myself. And um, I heard something walking up on camp. I, uh, it might have been a coyote. Um, my experience with boars is that they're just loud. And uh, this might have been a coyote coming to just kind of check out what was going on here. Good night, y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, you know, I just, these trips are fun and it's, it's fun uh, putting out videos, just kind of weekend warrior videos, what you can do in Sam Houston National Forest. Um, yeah, that's all. That's good night. Good night, y'all. But I successfully avoided a damp foot box last night. Yay. My spoon is in my sleeping bag. Leaving camp this morning. Uh, it's nice and cold. Um, <laughs> I found my spoon, which was nice. It just got wrapped up in my sleeping bag as I was, or my sleeping quilt as I was um, packing it up. But it's a, it's a cool morning. Drank my coffee, got my snacks ready. I could have got water out of the out of Winter's Bayou back there, but I'll make it to San Jack. Sent the San Jacinto River pretty easily. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna do that. You know, you don't need more water than you need, I guess. This morning when I was making coffee, I put my pot on the flame before I put water in my pot. <laughs> and then the pot fell off. And then I instinctively, you know, went for the pot with my left hand and I burned my hand. Um, and so it's not a bad burn. It's just uncomfortable. And um, here we got a muddy part here. It's just uncomfortable. So I think I might, I might Luco tape up my hand <laughs> later on. That'll be a first. Um, it wouldn't be that big a deal, except for the fact that I do like using my trekking poles. And when your hand is burned and you've got the friction of the trekking pole against your hand, it's just uncomfortable. It's and whatever. It's not a big deal. Just, just takes a little bit of the joy out of the whole endeavor, you know, but all right, I got more mud 
Got more mud I got to deal with. Made it to the San Jacinto River. Should I get water or not? Haven't had any water. Um, should I go down and get water? What do you think? Always check for trolls. And I am thinking I will have breakfast at mile. There's a hiker's camp at mile 89. Um, have probably about half a mile to go to that. And I'll just plop down and have breakfast there, I guess. I usually get water out of those ponds, um, but I do need some water. I kind of accidentally spilled some water at, when I was getting lunch at camp, at that camp. Um, this is looking less stagnant than those ponds. I'm gonna try this. This is, I'm in a, I don't know what mile I'm at. I'll let you know in a minute. So that's the creek at mile uh, 87 and like a quarter. So, you know, so I'm coming up on mile 87 and about a quarter of a mile. And then there's a little creek there. It's on the map. Um, and I would say it is a preferred water source over the pond just because the water is flowing, you know, it's less stagnant. No Luco tape so far. The, the burns on my hand, uh, they were just kind of annoying for a few hours, but then they blistered up. And once they blistered up, it stopped being as annoying. And, and then the blisters just popped on their own. And uh, so they're draining now, or they're almost done draining. So the blisters on my hand from picking up my <laughs> my hot cook pot have gone through their life cycle <laughs> we've seen the life cycle of a blister already today um, and then with regards to my feet I'll just check them out here when I get to a uh, big creek scenic area I'll sit down and check my feet out and see if they need any attention I'm feeling some hot spots coming on so I might just uh, preemptively put some lucro tape on um I did get a whole bag of one use neosporins um and so I'm gonna I'll, I'll pack those every once in a while what I need I need a bag of one use little uh, sunscreens that's what I need you know um just like a sunscreen I can use just on my face for one day, you know, that'd be awesome. So if you have a brand that is 
cheap and single use that you would recommend. You can put it down in the blah blah below. The plan was to hike until about four o'clock and then turn around. So I've got about 20 more minutes of hiking before I have to turn around. Uh, so this might end up being like a, like a, about a 20 mile day, you know, which that's a lot. It's a lot of hiking. Time to turn around. It's only, I think I'm only 10 minutes late. All right, I wanted to make it to mile 78. I think it's 410. So I was only 10 minutes over my goal. Um, and so now I've just got to make it back to mile 82. And I think I saw some good stealth camping there when I was passing it up. Um, that's kind of what I want to do. Like I wanted to go, I saw a campsite. I mean, a good area. That looked like a really, a really nice campsite. So I just have to go through Big Creek and then camel up at Big Creek and then just head out to um, try to get to mile 82 by six o'clock before the sun goes down. And if the sun, does go down before then I'll just do some more night hiking I think um, that's my plan So I, uh, I mean, so I made it out to mile 72. I turned around and um, I walked back about four miles, three, three, four miles. So I did about 20 miles today and I got to camp, set up camp. I stretched, ate dinner kind of on the way. Um, I had a mountain house and I was just kind of eating it out of my, out of my hand. You know, I was like holding it and eating it. Um, and then so I got to camp, set up camp stretched, did all my stuff, um, and then just laid down for a little bit and immediately fell asleep for like two hours. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so it's dark now, but, uh, it's a really clear night. The stars are out. Um, and I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take some Advil. Uh, I'm super sore, I'm super stiff. Um, and uh, I'll probably go to bed again here in an hour or two, a couple hours.